Hello students, today we're going to be talking about dilations and scale factor and you're going to be taking notes on page 18 and in class tomorrow we'll kind of solidify these notes and look at some more examples. You've all heard of dilations before in scale factor but let's just do a quick review. A dilation is an enlargement or a uh, reduction by a common scale factor. So if I have a dilation, the scale factor is going to be the same for the entire figure. We're going to either make it larger or make it smaller. Larger would be an enlargement, smaller would be a reduction. Now something new this year is we're going to be learning how to take the scale factor and write it as an algebraic phrase. So when we're talking about dilations and reductions and scale factor, we're usually talking about graphing something on a coordinate plane so we have ordered pairs like x comma y. We can graph the x, y if we know what the numbers are. Well first we want to talk about how to create an algebraic phrase telling me um, about my dilation. Let's say that our scale factor equals 2. We're going to double something in size, so the scale factor is 2, and that's going to be an enlargement. Well, to write that algebraically, we would first write our xy, and then we draw an arrow because we're going to dilate. And then if the scale factor is 2, we always multiply the scale factor times each of the um, numbers in our ordered pair. So to write that algebraically, we would write 2x comma 2y. And that 2 means that I'm multiplying the 2 times whatever x is and the y times 2 as well. So for example, if I had the point 3 comma negative 2, then I would multiply both of those by 2 because that's what my scale factor is telling me to do. And we know that 3 times 2 is 6 and negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. So that would be my new point that's dilated by a scale factor of 2. For the next example, let's pretend that our scale factor is 1 half. So basically what I'm doing is I'm creating a reduction half the size of the original. So to create my algebraic phrase, I would first start with the x comma y because that's what we always start with. And I know I'm going to dilate, so I put the arrow. And then what am I going to have to do to each one of these numbers in my ordered pair? I'm going to multiply it by the scale factor, which is 1 half. So I take 1 half of x and 1 half of y. And that is my algebraic representation of my dilation. Now let's do an example. Let's say that I have 3 comma 0. The new coordinate for 3 comma 0 at a scale factor of 1 half is found by multiplying 1 half times each of these numbers. And we know that 1 half times 3 is 3 over 2 and 1 half times 0 is 0. And that is our dilated point from 3 comma 0. Well now we're going to mix it up just a little bit and I'm given a, an algebraic phrase that tells me what I'm supposed to do. So it says x comma y dilated to 1 fourth x comma 1 fourth y. That's telling me that I'm going to create a reduction and I'm going to have to multiply everything by 1 fourth. So let's start with 4 comma 2. With 4 comma 2, 4 times 1 fourth we know is 1, and 2 times 1 fourth is 1 half, so there's my first new point. The second one, negative 2 times 1 fourth is negative 1 half, and negative 4 times 1 fourth is negative 1, and 8 times 1 fourth is 2, and 0 times 1 fourth is 0, so those are my new points 
after I have applied my scale factor to each of the old points. Now for practice, what I'd like for you to do is to answer these two questions. For practice one, the scale factor is three. So what I'd like for you to do is to write the algebraic representation of the scale factor being three. And I'll give you a hint. We always start with that and then you fill in the rest. On practice number two, what I'd like for you to do is to read the algebraic statement and apply it to these two points. So first you have to think, what is this statement telling me? And once I know that, what do I have to do to each one of these points? We'll check this in your composition book tomorrow when you come to class.